Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Nurse Blake, and in this video, I'm gonna give you my NCLEX study tips. So come on in and join the conversation. Let me know if you're taking the NCLEX. Have you set a date yet? Or let me know what semester you're in, because really it's never too early to start studying for the NCLEX. And if at any time throughout this video you have questions for me, I'll answer them live. And if you miss this live, I'll make sure it's reposted. It'll stay on my Facebook page. And I'll also share it to my YouTube channel. So let me know how it's going. It's Wednesday, right? And those of you who commented on my video meme I just posted, uh, nurses at Shift Change, thank you guys so much. Your comments were hilarious. I was cracking up all day reading them. I'm actually gonna go on my Instagram live after this to read some of my favorite comments. So make sure after this video, you catch me out on Instagram. And again, if you have any questions about the NCLEX, feel free to join in. I took my NCLEX back in 2014 and I still remember the day and how I felt right before the exam, sitting in my car and then walking into the exam. So I just wanna give you my tips and advice so you can do the best as possible. My first tip is stay focused. If you just graduated, it's really, really easy to want to go out and celebrate or maybe take a nice vacation because you've been in nursing school for two to four years. So you want to hang out with your friends and celebrate. But I, I really recommend that you just stay focused, wait to celebrate until after the NCLEX because it's great that you graduated nursing school but passing the NCLEX is what's gonna give you the ability to get your license to be able to finally practice and take care of patients. Hey, Ashley from Virginia, welcome, welcome. And if any of you have taken your NCLEX and you passed your NCLEX, uh, let us know your tips too. So those going into the NCLEX, they could read your tips. Um, Cause there's never, I mean, tips are great. So I feel like everyone can learn from Everyone else, that's why we're here. So feel free to engage and share your tips if you've already taken your NCLEX. But yes, stay focused, stay focused, wait to celebrate. There'll be plenty of time to celebrate after you pass your NCLEX. Trust me, I passed mine in 2014 and I still celebrate some days uh, because it is a huge accomplishment and something that you should be proud of. So make sure you stay focused. Hey guys. Welcome. Tip number two, don't wait, all right? Once you graduate and you're able to schedule your NCLEX date, go ahead and do it. That way, once you have a hard date set, you're able to start planning and setting short-term and long-term goals for yourself. How much you wanna study every week, how many practice questions you wanna do every day. Because if you just wait, to schedule it, it's just like, oh yeah, I need to schedule my NCLEX, I gotta take it. Then you're just gonna end up psyching yourself out about it and getting really nervous. Especially those who are anxious like me, if I didn't schedule it, I would end up probably end up just not taking it at all because I just get so nervous and nervous. So once you set your date, you'll be able to start planning and setting goals. Oh, Heather, let's see. Heather says, I passed mine five years ago today. That's awesome. Congratulations, Heather. If you have any tips, leave them down below. So definitely don't wait. Once you get approval that you can schedule your exam and sit for it, do it. Don't delay. All right, practice questions. These are really, really important um, because you could study material all day, but you don't know how well you know that material if you don't practice questions. So start practicing questions now, like after you watch this video, start practicing questions. And it's never too early to start practicing questions. So even if you just start a nursing school or you're halfway done, great, start practicing now. My favorite, you know, NCLEX practice questions are from the NCSBN. I'll make sure I put that in the comments down below, N-C-S-B-N. And they are actually the creators of the NCLEX. So why not use practice questions from the people who wrote the NCLEX practice or the NCLEX questions? So it's a great source. I highly recommend them. Again, that's the N-C-S-B-N. 
And for those of you who don't like to practice questions online, you'd rather have a hard copy or a book, one that you can highlight and take notes, I left one in the description. It's a great NCLEX study guide from Davis. So definitely check it out and click on the link above in the description. How's everyone doing? It's Wednesday. Emma just got accepted into nursing school. Congratulations. That's awesome. If you need any tips or advice, feel free to reach out to me. Um, wh where do you live? Where are you going to nursing school? Let us know. I graduated from the University of Central Florida in Orlando, uh, the home of Mickey Mouse. All right. So practice questions. Practice as many as possible. Um, start setting a goal, like 75 questions a day. And if you have more time and you want to practice more, then set a goal of doing 100 questions a day. Whatever works for you and your schedule. And make sure you set a realistic goal. You never want to say, oh, I'm going to practice 200 questions, and then you only end up practicing 100. Because what's going to happen is you're going to get to exam day, and it's going to be in your mind that you could have practiced more. So set a realistic goal of 75 to 100 questions a day. And then as the NCLEX creeps up and gets closer, you'll be able to like, oh, yeah, I definitely hit my goal. I did 100 questions a day, and you'll feel better about yourself and more prepared. Like I said, if you are in nursing school now, you don't have to graduate to start practicing questions. And also identify trends. Let's say you're practicing questions and you, you miss pediatric questions. Okay, that's fine. Definitely go back to your pediatric textbook and notes and review that material. And then go back to the practice questions to see if you've learned some and got better at that. If you see that you're missing OB questions, that's okay. Go study, open up your textbook again, your study notes, review that material, and then you could go back to the practice questions, all right? Hey, hey. And then relax. You guys have this. Those of you who are taking your NCLEX now, I know some of you had said in comments that you're taking your NCLEX this week, you got it. You know the material. You've been learning this material for the past two or four years, all right? And the hard part is over. Nursing school is over. You graduated. Now you just have this huge final cumulative exam you got to pass, all right? So my recommendation is don't cram right before the exam. So the 24 to 48 hours before the exam, just relax because you really need to get in the mindset and be mentally prepared to walk into the NCLEX exam room, sit behind a computer and take the exam. So you don't want to cram the night before. You don't want to stay up late. You don't want to cram in your car before the NCLEX, all right? Just relax, okay? You know it. You got this. Um, if you like in, <laughs> uh, Netflix, go ahead and binge watch Netflix the day before and eat a tub of ice cream. If you like yoga, go out and do yoga. Hang out with your friends. But make sure you get a good sleep that night. And in that morning, uh, wake up, have a good breakfast, and make sure you have energy. I know before my exam, I like jammed out in my car just so I would have a positive energy for myself walking into the exam. And if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to drop them down below. I would love to answer them for you guys. And now in the exam, all right, <laughs> like jam out in your car before, all right, just so you get in a positive attitude. So turn on your favorite music and sing to the top of your lungs. And then when you sit down at the computer, just breathe, smile. If you're stressed out, think of um, one of the funny memes I posted a video to make you laugh a little bit. Uh, and then another recommendation of mine is treat each question like a real patient, all right? Don't treat it like an exam. Treat it like you're treating a real patient, and that may help you a little bit. If at any time you feel stressed out in the exam, just sit back, breathe, slow, deep breaths, all right? Smile, tell yourself you got this. And when I went to the, the section before and I said relax about the exam, 24 to 48 hours, keep telling yourself, I got this. I'm going to do good. The hard part's over. I graduated nursing school. I know all this knowledge. And that'll really help set you up for success. In tips for two. I have a question. Any tips for two ATIs in one month? ATI is, are you in nursing school? 
for the ATI? Is that something you take um, just as like a regular exam in nursing school? And then I'll get back to you. I'll give you an answer. And then Emily, she said, I made it a ritual to jam out in my car before every exam. Me too. I definitely do that before every exam. The hottest song of the week, I would jam out just so I was in a really good mood walking into it. And it definitely helped me for sure. Hey, Shonda, how's it going? I miss you too. I hope all's going well. And then if any one of you have an NCLEX schedule, let me know when your date is. I know some of you who graduated in December have yours coming up. So within, you know, within this month of January, you should probably be taking it. Is ATI or Kaplan better? For NCLEX review, again, I use the NCSBN. That's what I use. I know a lot of other nurses use that too, and they were successful. What I like about them are they are the people who write the NCLEX questions. So why not use practice questions for them, from them? Um, it worked really well for me. I think it's like $100. It's like really affordable. And if you don't like online questions or answering questions through an app, I recommend the Davis NCLEX prep guide, and that is in the link in the link below or up above. I don't know wherever the description is. I made sure I included the link. Yes, who again? That is the N C S B N. I don't know if I could even like Y M C A it. So it's N C S B N. All right. I know our acronyms. There's so many acronyms in healthcare. All right. Okay, here we go. Yeah, ATIs are like HESIs depending on your school. So if you have ATI exams, I would use the ATI guide. I know I use ATI and I use those practice questions um, to help prep for those exams. And here Sarah Beth said she, she really loved ATI. So uh, pick whatever's gonna work for you, whatever's best for you, because um, you need to succeed, right? So whatever, Things you did to study to pass nursing school, use those same tips that you were successful in to study for the NCLEX. So how many of you guys saw um, Nurse Becky in the, <laughs> the Nurses at Shift Change video? Let me know what you thought about it because I may bring Nurse Becky back for more videos. And your comments on the videos were so funny. If you guys haven't read the comments, just spend some time reading them because they cracked me up all day long. After this video, I'm actually going to go on my Instagram. I'm going to go live and read some of the comments. They were so funny. You guys are so awesome and you want you make me want to make more videos for you guys. So may, Nurse Becky may be back. Love Nurse Becky. You like that wig? <laughs> I love it. Super funny and true. I can't, I can't wait to read these comments to you guys out loud on my Instagram because they cracked me up. They were so funny. I bet people were wondering what I was laughing at the whole time. <laughs> Lindsay said, hey, Blake, ATIs were great. Becky, Becky was great. <laughs> I love that. Hmm, let's see what other questions you guys have. It's Wednesday, so what's going on? Are you guys in nursing school? Are you guys nurses? What's your day like? Let me know. And Heather said Nurse Becky was hilarious and 100% accurate. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Hey, how's it going? Good to see you on here. I know you follow me on YouTube. It's so nice that you found me on Facebook. <laughs> Corey said Becky was so hilarious. I work with Becky who looks like her. Oh, my God. that's so. You got to show her the video then. Someone studying for boards, awesome, good luck. Study, 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 study hard. And then graduating February 15th, that's awesome. You're almost there, like one month, you're almost to the finish line. So wait to celebrate after your NCLEX. Joe, clinical lab tomorrow, which means bed soon, yes. Get a good night's sleep, clinical lab. Jen said, school just started med surge semester this week. Good luck in your med surge class. Those are really the foundation of everything else. So make sure you study really hard, that you don't just memorize the material, but that you actually try to understand it. Cheryl, 
nursing school now expecting to graduate 2019, going through fundamentals and assessment. Again, fundamentals is one of those main courses that everything else is going to build on. So make sure you study really hard and do really, really well in that class. Swati about to start first semester of nursing school. That's awesome. Do you have like all your books and like your backpack picked out? And then once you get all your books, I know like every nursing student like piles them up and then takes an Instagram picture by them and they're like as tall as you. I just love seeing those pictures. They crack me up. Let's see. Dorinda said, I gave your name to three student nurses this morning and said, find him. He said, well, thank you for sharing my videos with the student nurses. Lindsay from Hawaii, how's it going? So you guys, if you have any questions about the NCLEX, feel free to drop them in. This video is really all about preparing for the NCLEX. And I'm gonna review one more time my NCLEX tips. All right, again, stay focused. I know you may have graduated nursing school, but wait to celebrate until after you pass the NCLEX. I know after nursing school, like you want to take a vacation, you want to go out with all your friends, but wait, start studying for the NCLEX past that, and then you'll have plenty of time to celebrate. Don't wait. Once you get the approval to schedule your NCLEX, go ahead and schedule something. You don't have to be the first one to take the exam. All I'm saying is schedule it somewhere, because once you have a hard date set, it's a lot easier to set your study goals what you wanna study each week and what you wanna study each day. So don't wait. I know if I waited, I would psych myself out, out about it and then end up not taking it at all. And that's not a good thing. Practice questions, practice as many questions as possible, right? If you're in nursing school now, maybe you don't graduate till next year, that's okay. It's never too soon or never too late. It's never too soon or late to start practicing for the NCLEX, all right? So start doing practice questions as soon as possible. Again, look for trends. If there's certain topic you keep on missing the questions, that means go back, open up your textbooks, study again, and then go back to the practice questions. I get asked all the time, what did I use to study for the NCLEX? And I use the program through NCSBN. They're the creators of the NCLEX. Their questions were great and they helped me pass. And then again, relax 24 to 48 hours before the exam. You got this, right? Don't try to cram the night before, all right? Those one to two days before the exam, tell yourself you got this. You, the hard part was over, nursing school, all that knowledge and skills you have to successfully complete the NCLEX. So don't feel like you need to cram. And if you like watching Netflix, watch Netflix. If you like to go camping, go camping the day before and really just get in the mindset um, and mentally prepare for the exam. Yes, you got it, Kima, NCSBN. Yep, you got it. And then in the exam, make sure you jam out to your favorite song before the exam to get you pumped up, all right? Breathe and smile, laugh a little bit, think of something funny, and treat each question like a real patient. Um, and then if you get nervous, that's okay. Pause, breathe. Think of your favorite song in your head and just do a little dance, all right, at the computer. Uh, or think of something funny and just breathe, deep breathe, and then go back to the exam, all right? And then again, you could find this video on my YouTube channel, youtube.com backslash Nurse Blake. And I do have a bunch of other videos out there for you guys. But I am going to be in here for a few minutes answering your questions. So if you have questions about the NCLEX, feel free to Comment them below and I'll answer them live. Ariana says, graduated last year, so worth it. Y'all got this. And you guys do have it. You got this. You have all the knowledge. What do I think? Lisa says, what do you think about the NCLEX Mastery app? I haven't used that, so I don't know. But if anyone else used the NCLEX Mastery Prep, uh, if you could just leave a comment how it worked for you so Lisa knows. That'd be great because we're all here to help each other. I really wanted to build a community of nurses and nursing students 
to have a positive environment that we could all engage with and learn from one another. You guys are all awesome. I would work with any one of you guys. You guys are great. Let's see other questions. Beck, in New Zealand, we all sit state finals in one day. Don't get a choice. Oh, so they set the date for you, like everyone takes it at the same time. Is that how that works? So you don't set a date? It'd be interesting because here in the States, we're able to pick whichever date we want to take the NCLEX and then situated around the different states, there's exam centers and you just schedule a date with them and you go in and you take your exam. Let's see. Dorinda said, I'm so proud of all your you nursing students. You got this. Yeah, those of you in nursing school, go ahead and start prepping for the NCLEX now. I mean, you're doing it already by being in class, but I highly recommend you start looking at practice questions to help you get prepared. Kima, back to answer your question. Yes, what I used was the NCSBN. And what they did is they gave you access to their online portal. You either got to choose five weeks or eight weeks, and it was either like $75 or $100. And I believe after I graduated, I signed up for the eight-week program. So I was able to have access to all their questions and database for eight weeks for 100 bucks. So um, definitely worth it. I loved it. Hmm, let's see. Joe? Never underestimate the power of positive thinking. It's so easy to doubt yourself, but have faith and believe you can do it. And you guys, you really can do it. And that's why I really say relax before the exam and speak to yourself. Say positive things like you got this. I'm going to do good because really you are. And if you spend that day the night before or the, the morning of in your car studying and cramming, you're just telling yourself you're not ready. You're not prepared. And you guys, you're already you are prepared. So spend that day before, just relax, get in the mindset. Corey, do you think you could study too much for the NCLEX? Um, that's dependent on each individual. If you feel like you need to study, keep studying because you want to get to a time where you, it just clicks and you're like, okay, I got this. I got this. All right. And then you know, you're good. I think if you study too much and you're, you're worried about it too much, you're going to end up cramming the night before. And that's something you want to avoid, but each person's different and do what works for you and do what worked for you in the past, whatever worked for you that got you to graduate nursing school, keep on that path. Stay positive nurse family. Yes. Stay positive. You guys got this. And let me know, like, if you guys ever have any questions for me about the NCLEX or nursing school, drop them in this video. You could also send me a direct message on my page and you could also find me on Instagram too. Okay, Mary, you say, I take the NCLEX tomorrow and not trying to freak out. Any tips on not relaxing? Okay, if you take your NCLEX tomorrow, really relax. You got this, you got this, you got this, all right? If there's anything you feel like you need to review, review it really quickly, all right? And then just get a good night's sleep, wake up in the morning, have a good breakfast, all right? Do a little short workout, all right? Jam to some music and then go in and take and pass that NCLEX. Hey, Heather, just tuning in. Welcome, glad you're here. In my last semester of school, so ready to graduate. Yes, even in my first semester of nursing school, I'm like, oh, I can't wait to graduate. I'm ready. So I, I know that feeling. Let's see. Any more questions about the NCLEX, you guys? All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are awesome. If you have an NCLEX scheduled, good luck. You got this. And make sure you share this video with your nursing friends. If you know anyone who's taking the NCLEX soon, make sure you click the share button so they have access to this video. And to all your nursing friends that said hi, catch me on Instagram at Nurse Blake. I'm gonna be going live there in about 10 minutes and I'm gonna be reading all my favorite comments from the meme video I posted about uh, nurses at shift change, all right? 
Thank you guys so much for watching and I will chat with you guys later. Bye. And oh, also you can find me on YouTube, youtube.com backslash nurse Blake. Bye guys. Have a great night.